Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video by The Last Sorts Blog. And as you can see, we are joined by Liam Nash of um, Jules. Um, firstly, let's start how you come to the club. Mm -hmm. um, of course, let's, actually, let's start when you first got the call to, uh, to come on trial. Yeah, well, obviously I was at, um, as a few of you know, I was at Malden and Tiptree last year and uh, I had an agent who uh, suddenly picked me up after two months left of the season, um, Max Ferdinand, and he had a couple of chats with me, barring teams that were interested in coming to watch and Gillingham was one of them. Um, I didn't really, at that time, I wasn't really letting that get in the way because I was having such a good season, I didn't want anything to distract me, so I just kept playing my game and... As the, as the season went on, he kept telling me that they were kept watching, kept watching and kept an eye and then obviously suddenly after the season planned out, he, he said he got a call from them and said they wanted me in as soon as possible. Um, I had other trials lined up, so I had to fit them in uh, as soon as I could. Um, but then obviously I had that week gap after Ebbsfleet and um, I went in and obviously impressed AD and yeah. went on from there really. Yeah, that's the thing is that obviously your first game was down, was down at Dover. Um, you won us a penalty. Yeah. Um, your your first game. Had how, how did you feel being being around being around pros and? Yeah, no. For me, it was like a bit bit wow, um, especially like in training and stuff, and training with and with pro players and coming into that environment. And you know, I've, I've been at pro clubs before, but it's a, it's a new environment for me. Like now, um, it's something that I've been trying to get into and working so hard to get into. And it's just I'm just so thankful that I'm here now. And I'm just going to show everyone, like I've said before, just how, how much I can do it. And I want to prove to everyone that I can score goals and stuff and be given opportunities and, and go from there. Because what I wanted to ask Nashi, you obviously see it in the press and the media that people say there's not much difference these days between conference and, and pro. Mm -hmm. How do you, do you think there is, a, there, there is a difference? I mean, the way that you set up in the league, in the pro game, is totally different. Um, the football in terms of it is, is sharper, it's quicker, you get more physical players as you go up in the leagues. It's quite, like, I mean, the transition from when you watch the Championship and League One, you can see the difference in, in football, the way they play. And But from Conference to, well, from Ryman, let's say, from Ryman to, to League Football, it, it, it's a massive change, like, in terms of players. Um, obviously, you're going to get players that are a lot better on the same wavelength and you can get involved with them and it's, it's a lot different and in the rhyme and you get just just lumps and want to take you out and you know break your leg but it, yeah I'm just excited to be here really at the end of the day. Obviously your league debut was at Doncaster mm. after you got after you got a two year deal. Yep. Um, I was in the way in that day. Um, the fans support for you since, since the trial mm. and obviously the league debut has been Absolutely crazy. And it's how, mad. Have you, how have you felt about I, it? I'm, mate, I'm overwhelmed. Like I didn't expect it at all. Um, obviously, I've come in here just being myself, and I said that from the start. I'm going to be myself, and I always give 100% on the pitch, and I always will, and always have. Um, my work rate's like always going to be up there, second to none, and I always do that for the fans. And for, for, to get that back from the fans, it just pushes me as a player to do more and more and more. And obviously. As a team, we want the supporters behind us because it does give us that boost. Like people might think, oh, they're not getting, they're not doing it for us on the pitch, so we can't give it back. So, but for you to give it to us, it makes us then work on the pitch and do hard and, and put in the effort. So it swings in both ways. But I can only thank the fans for what they've given me because I'll give them 100% back. I think I think what it is, I think one of the reasons why you've got so much support is obviously. As you, as you probably know that we lost Cody McDonald in the summer mm -hmm. um, you're probably our closest thing to Cody <laughs> um, in terms of work rate and your goal scoring record mm -hmm. and I think that's probably why um, you get that much support mm -hmm. is that you you do work super hard is it is it for stress looking we'll go to the start of the season then um, the run of results that we've had at the start of the season is it frustrating coming from a side where you've scored 30 odd goals and I've often said in, in in the media that the goal net don't move. Um, if you score goals at if you score goals at one level, you're going to score goals. Um, is it frustrating watching from a sideline that we haven't scored goals yet? And you haven't had a chance. I mean, I'm I'm got to be patient, and I've said that from the start. I've come in to a pro team, and I've got to be patient and, and give them my chance. And every time I have come on, like I've made sure that my mindset's right, and I'm not thinking about not being given a chance and. Not think about what other players. I'm just focusing on myself and, and making sure that when I come on, 
I'm doing the job that the gaffers told me to do, which then hopefully will be rewarded in a start and more time and, and more minutes on the pitch. So that is all my mindset at the moment, is just making sure I'm doing the right thing. And it's frustrating for us because as a team, we're doing well on the training pitch, we're working hard. Like It's just no luck's going our way and the ball hasn't hit the net. But I think once it does, then we'll, we'll kick on and, and progress. Because defensively, um, I was reading that the other day that we've actually got the third best record in the league, defensively. Mm -hmm. So defensively, we're fine. Sound, yeah. It's just in that final third that we need to... I can see that though, defensively we're strong as you like. Mm. Like We've got Gabs there at the back and <laughs> not being funny, no. he's just the wall. So you ain't mm. getting past him. And But yeah, like I say, I think that first goal goes in, us as a team and the way we are and the mentality, we'll push on and go and push on and, and hopefully kick on in this league. So obviously, like, like we said, that coming into pro football, what's your What's your aims that you, you want for this season? Just to get my foot in the door, like I've said, I'm thankful for the opportunity and that's the main thing that like, I've been given it. So for me now is to push on, work hard in training, get my minutes on the pitch, hopefully get some goals and go on from there. But I want to keep Jules in the league and I'll do everything I can to do that and give everything I can to the fans and make sure they're happy and, and make sure the gaffer's happy and I'm getting my minutes on the pitch. So, so, so you're aiming for like 15 goals though? My I've, I've set a target, but yeah, you set a target, it yeah. depends on obviously my game time yeah. and stuff and how I'm doing and how well the team is. So, but yeah, I've set my targets like every striker should. Yeah, of and course. Go from there. So, talk about your own aspirations. What's the what's the team's aspirations for this year? What what, what do you I want mean, to do? I mean, the spirit in the change room is just top draw. Like the players and, and the manager and the staff, we're all getting on so well. Like, um, and it's it's quite depressing to not get anything out of the games that we are because we are working hard on the training pitch. Like I've said. Um, and the gaffer is drumming into us to play football and to play it the right way. So that is this positive stuff. And for us to stay in the league, obviously that is our main ambition. Um, but obviously, like everyone in the league, they're not going to say they're happy to sit in the league. We can go for promotion and go for a playoff place. Is that is that is that what you? And we have yeah? said that. Yeah, of course we have. And there's yeah. no, you can't not sit there and not say that. Like. I don't know any team in this league that just sit here and be happy to play in the league because I wouldn't want to be involved in a team that does that. So for me, like it's ambition and the club said that and if we can do it, then we'll do that. So South End later today, um, good strong side, they've had a good window, yeah. uh, Michael Kitely. Um but we, we have a good record against South End. Yeah, I've seen that. Could, yeah. could you see a... Well, I mean, I know, I know a couple win. of players from there, so I'm yeah. from that area. Oh, so, sure, yeah. So yeah. for me, like, it, it's good to get out there and play against them to run through that because, like, they never obviously took a punt on me. They were, they knew about me and they knew that I was a free agent, but obviously never done anything about it. So for me to go out there against them, I used to play for them for four years when I was younger. So I used to be at the academy. So for me to go out there again and hopefully, you know, do Jules justice and get the free I'll say it's a little bit of like, a little bit of your own back, letting me go. a little bit of vengeance there, I'm not going to say yeah. there's not, a little <laughs> bit. You talk about the teams that were interested in you, It'd be inter I think Jules fans will want to know. Um, obviously, we were crying out for you to be signed in the summer, thankfully you were. Mm -hmm. um, could, can you now say what teams were interested? I know Doncaster <laughs> won, I think. I, I went to Doncaster Yeah, I, th trial, I thought you yeah. were, yeah. Um, I, I did speak to them, oh, well, there was talk to me going back, but obviously timing and stuff, They because I went up to why they was last season and they was going for the title, so it was a bit of a bad timing for me. I did speak to them and then ended up not going because of other clubs, um, but I'm not going to say who, because I want to keep it on the low. <laughs> I know you'll want to know, but for me it's just about Jules now and, and just getting my head down and, and concentrating and getting goals, hopefully. Cool, so obviously you talk about the fan support, Anything like any message that you want to say to the older fans watching? Like, I mean, what you've been doing so far is brilliant. Like, supporting me personally as well, the, the way that you've supported me, like, it makes me want to give everything back to you, and I will anyway. I'll do that 100%. But to get behind the team, like, every game, the way you're doing and supporting and, and travelling, and it honestly it pushes us more than you'll ever know. Like, to, to get behind us on the, on the pitch and on the 90 minutes, it pushes us to, to try and get the three points, to work hard for you lot. And, all I can say is just keep doing it and we'll just keep giving 100% back. Um, but hopefully, hopefully you can be rewarded soon with, uh, with three points and some goals. Yeah, so because obviously, um, I think you said, I think I don't know if you said it to me or you said it on one of your media groups that walking out in front of 500 people to 5,000 people, mm. was that like, did you look, when you come off your league, David, did you think, turn to the fans and went, wow? Yeah, well, I just 
to be honest with you, it's just overwhelming. Like I've looked, I've looked round and just think like this is it. This is what I've worked hard for. And I don't we, we said you deserved it, so like, I mean I appreciate that, but I just I, it, for me it gives me that that push that I don't want to let it go like ever. Now that is it. Like now I'm here. I don't ever want to see it go, and I'll do everything I can to just keep it and, and just keep going on and just yeah. work harder. So I think from everyone from the last week's blog and all Jules fans, good luck for the season. Thank you very much. Um, obviously, good luck later today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you get your first goal and um, keep doing what you're doing, Nashi. Thank you very much. Nice one. Thanks, Thank you, mate. Tom, mate. Cheers.